Hi everyone. Today the topic of discussion is the thoracic vertebra. Now you see that thoracic vertebra it consists of 12 thoracic vertebra. This is the uh, actually you see this is few part of the skeleton of the thorax where the ribs are attached. Now there are 12 vertebrae in the thoracic region and in the thoracic region you will see the vertebrae that is that has got some typical features they are known as the typical thoracic vertebrae and some have got the atypical features they are known as the atypical thoracic vertebrae. Now the typical thoracic vertebrae what is the characteristic of the typical one? You see here this is the body of the typical thoracic vertebra and here this anterior posterior diameter and the transverse diameter they are equal and the zonal characteristic feature of this thoracic vertebra you see this is the presence of facet half facet the superior one is larger than the inferior one this is the zonal characteristic feature but in the cervical region you see the characteristic feature is the presence of foramen transverse area and the transverse diameter and the anterior posterior diameter you see the transverse diameter is greater so this is the difference and if you go to the lumbar one you will see the body is massive kidney shaped body and the thin transverse process so in this way you can differentiate the three among the groups of the vertebrae now the typical thoracic vertebrae you will see it has got a body i will show you the anterior part is the body and the posterior part this is known as the vertebral arch now the body and the vertebral arch they are connected by means of a small transverse bone which is known as the pedicle and this pedicle it goes behind and it is attached to the lamini on the back side now the thoracic vertebrae and the lamini enclose a foramen which is known as the vertebral foramen and through which the spinal cord with meninges it passes now what are the features you will see above this pedicle above the pedicle there is a small notch because the pedicle is attached at the superior part of the body so superior vertebral notch is shallow but the inferior vertebral notch you will see this inferior vertebral notch is uh, larger in size so if you articulate the two adjacent thoracic vertebrae you will see a canal is formed and the name of the canal is the intervertebral canal through which the knobs come out. So there is formation of a notch and this notch transmit the corresponding spinal nerve. Next is that the body you will see which is heart shaped and it bears demi facet. The upper two demi facet is larger and lower is the smaller this larger demi facet articulates with the ribs that is the demi facet of the lower demi facet of the rib is larger so this lower demi facet so it articulates with the corresponding ribs so suppose this is the t5 vertebra it will cut articulates with the T5 actually the fifth rib so this is about the body of the vertebra and you will see the transverse process which is directed backwards and laterally you will see here it is directed backwards and laterally and it is club shaped 
you will see there are more thoracic vertebra you will see there is the club shaped transverse process and here the costal element of the transverse process is separates out and it forms the rib actually this rib ribs are the separated costal element next is that this transverse process it gives attachment to muscles also next the transverse process and uh, at the junction of the transverse process and the pedicle there are some portion of the bone juts upward and you will see posterior to this you will get a smooth articular facet which will articulate with the vertebra above with the inferior facet now the inferior facet it is actually merged with the lamina and this inferior facet is slightly concave so this forms the articular area through which the weight from the head is transmitted not only from the body from the transverse process or from the articular process also so you will get this is the about the transverse process now this transverse process bears a facet in the vertebra which of the vertebra bear facet that is upper ninth vertebra but from the 10th 11th and 12th there is no facet in the transverse process so the 11th and 12th rib are known as the floating rib and you will see the typical one you will see and when the two lamina fuses with each other it forms a spinous process which is obliquely situated but in case of atypical vertebra that is the first thoracic you see this is the first thoracic this is more or less horizontal that of the cervical type you see this is the seventh cervical so this is more or less horizontal and one can palpate in the back of the neck about this vertebrae next you will see all these are connected with the ligament anteriorly there is anterior longitudinal ligament posteriorly there is posterior longitudinal ligament and in the transverse process there are three ligaments one is known as the lateral costo transverse ligament another is the posterior costo transverse ligament and next is the superior costo transverse ligament why this ligaments are required because you see with the ligaments the ribs are fuses with the vertebrae that's why there is the three costo transverse ligaments are there now the spines they are connected with ligament and they are known as the interspinous ligament and the supraspinous ligament so all this ligament is flexible up to the 12 years of age and gradually this ligament become tough and tough if one cannot do exercise there is severe restriction of the movement Uh, in the later period of life next thing the first cervical vertebra i show you that this is that of the transition that of the cervical type the transverse diameter of the body and the anteroposterior diameter of the body is not equal the transverse diameter is more that of the cervical now what is another characteristic feature the upper one facet is the single facet circular because you will get it is articulated with the first rib but sometimes you will get a larger demi facet rather than a circular one because some part of the rib may articulate with the intervertebral discs now the lower demi facet articulates with the upper demi facet of the rib below so 
this is about the first one next you will see the characteristic feature of the 11th and the 12th and the 10th the 10th one you see the body gradually becomes larger that of the lumbar type you see the lumbar vertebra it is larger in size and you will see here there is only facet and that is circular in outline you see here this color if you I mark it you will see this circular one this one is the facet of the 10th and there is no facet in the transverse process how can you separate the uh, two vertebrae that means the 10th from the 11th you will see the circular facet in case of 10th but here you will notice if I will look you forward you will see this facet is descend down from the upper border and goes near the pedicle and you will see the transverse process is already divided into three tubercle more or less at the tip the superior lateral and the inferior tubercle and you will see gradually the spinous process is not oblique like that of the typical one so you will see the spinous process is horizontal like that of the lumbar vertebrae so this is the 11th and 12th you will see you will see if I place these three vertebrae together you will see the difference of the facet you will look at this one this facet goes inferior to the superior border of the body and it goes actually inferior aspect and encroaches the pedicle so this is the characteristic feature of the 12th thoracic vertebra and again you will see here there is no transverse process you will see here a slight transverse process like this this is slight transverse process but there is no transverse process and the transverse process is divided into three processes one is known as the mammillary process another is known as the accessory process and another is the transverse process so and you will see the lower articular facet of the 11th is 12th is different you will see the facet is twisted laterally it is not like that of the other thoracic vertebra which merges with the lamini. So this is the thoracic vertebrae and you will see all portion of the part of the vertebrae have got function. This body has got weight transmission, this pedicle connects with the lamina and this lamina gives attachment to a ligament that is the ligamentum flavum and in the lamina there see articular process it, it also bears weight and this due to the presence of the rib and this uh, oblique process that means the spinous process there is of the restriction of the movement of the thoracic region only vertebra as a whole they will move flexion is more extension is less lateral bending is also there and side to side bending thank you everyone for watching this video